A really important thing, we may not forget that there are two things that are really important for humans. Human, the human race is a sexual species and it's a tool using species. That's important. Sex and tools, that's what we are. Many of the pieces here are really directly related to sex, technology, uh, pornography and progress. The question is not if sex technology will change humanity, it's just a question of like when again and how that will be. Uh, the first Polaroid camera was called the Swinger. Uh, the, the VHS tape made it because uh, all the porn companies licensed VHS and not Betamax and not VD2000 because that was too expensive. There would not be tone dial, just pulse dial, if there was this huge demand for telesex in the 1980s on telephone lines. There would be no broadband, no affordable broadband, if the consumers, mainly like male heterosexist, uh, heteronormative guys, of course, if they would not have had the need to download videos and uh, pictures online. We're very glad that we have like 13 artists for this exhibition, and um, and uh, basically the whole concept of the show we have like three different directions. Uh, one is like you know more like mechanical like fucking machines, uh, which is like what you see um, behind Timothy Archibald's work, which is a DIY culture of American garage. Uh, all these people they make these machines in a garage, and uh, eventually they become a like, commercial product. And uh, you see other you know more mechanical stuff such as Rhinus piece in Austria. Completely do it yourself. It's really yeah. you just take like do it yourself. The tools and you know, Here it feels good. It feels good. good. Yeah. So uh, this is also Adam Stein's piece. He's an independent uh, inventor. He also like sell uh, sex machines, which you can actually like uh, have any fantasy, machine fantasy. You email him or call him to a tailor made one for you. And, uh, this is an exact replica of Jimi Hendrix's penis. Uh, we also have uh, that room, uh, which is more like you know teledudonics, like remote control sex machines. And uh, we are very glad that we have the very first like teledudonics, which is a sex box artifact uh, by Karma Chulich. He's a king of uh, teledudonics. He's a robotician and uh, also doing a lot of really interesting things. The good thing uh, about uh, sex and technology is that we're always connected. And especially nowadays, we see that many, many people are interested in having like a sexual experience, but using uh, different tools. There are, in fact, many, many uh, iPhone applications out there that you can use as a vibrator. But all of them are pretty wrong. They don't work. They have serious flaws. They are like, you have to use two hands to control them and stuff. And it's, but why? It's not working, yeah? And Heather, because she actually had this idea of like, hey, I want to create my own tool, a tool that I actually can use. I can use it in the dark, I can use it with one finger or maybe two fingers, etc, etc, etc. And uh, she actually made it, and it will be hopefully commercially available on the App Store. 
Well, look at um, uh, Stefan, please. Uh, he's French from Tokyo, living in Tokyo right now. And he did a Wii game and also a very political piece about if there are any earthquakes in the world, the future will, you know, uh, vibrate, things like that. And the third direction is a more conceptual work about body, technology, and sexuality, including we have um, Ellen Bowsky from Hong Kong. So if you lie down concept, you will hear uh, one of the best shaped hands you are saying is famous. <laughs> What's the one? Uh, Try my best. Uh, okay. yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not, it's a uh, very Hong Kong Cantonese English. Yeah. Uh, you want to say try my bread best and become yeah. try my bread And also the most, and also yeah, the most the important bread. line following this is uh, she, he wants to have uh, um, more suggestions to the government rather than criticizing the government. Mm -hmm. So we have two government chairs here with two presidents. Uh. So also another very developed artist called Grand Chen. This piece was also uh, in uh, Venice Biennale uh, in 1995. And uh, this piece is basically two robots like uh, having intercourse. And when they feel horny, and when they, after they have sex, they go back to the room and sleep. <laughs> and uh, when they are penetrating each other, if the robot gets the orgasm, there will be a light bulb and sing. <laughs> it's kind of sound. Right? It's kind of interesting because a lot of the work is about like human and uh, you know machine interface, but this work is about machine and machine interface. And uh, also we have body here. And then another conceptual piece about uh, body technology and fashion. And yeah, they're, my pieces are for uh, they're they're basically for conceptual design for fashion design and wearable technology. And they use they use materials from you know from from LCD screens to you know to pressure pressure based fabrics and, and microbiologically grown clothing in, to in order to question in order question our, our habits closing and, uh, and how that relates to our sexuality and my fashion is not basically speak about how what it means to what it means to have a body what it means to have something grow of your body what it means to have a for space on your body what it means to represent your body and what it means to unclose your body and stuff like that So we also have, uh, you know, other another artist like uh, Katrine Jacobs uh, to work on about Hong Kong uh, sexual context and uh, the cosplay culture. And maybe you can say a few words. Well, there's two documentaries, and one is about uh, it's called What's Wrong with Your Prom, Hong Kong. Uh, because I notice that oftentimes people when they say porn, they like to say prom. Prom. Yeah, and prom also is a way of changing the word porn so that it doesn't, that it's not called by the filters. Um, and, yeah, so it's basically just like, because people are always complaining about Hong Kong sex, right? Like people don't have sex drive, and cities overworked, workaholic. You know, high-rise building. So I started interviewing people about what, what's going on with the sex drive and the prom. And so it's a documentary, different people's opinions about that censorship, mainland China censorship issues, and so on. And the other is about costume players and sexuality, people who use costumes to change gender, basically. Also. We also have to thank Shuli Chang. Um, this is a sequel of uh, her most famous piece, Iku, and this is Yuki, UKI. Uh, so it's uh, based on a performance documentation. And uh, if you haven't watched Iku before, I like, highly recommend you to buy it on Amazon.com or rent it somewhere. And we have Morgan Long, she's also like, challenging the uh, Yang Chang Jiu, like in Hong Kong. So he basically will sing everything except the mouth uh, in the video.